Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the Ferrari F2003-GA. It's a 124 scale kit from Ravel of Germany, and it's number 07240 in their catalog with a skill level 3. It's got 74 pieces molded in red and clear plastic with soft vinyl tires. Now the 2003 Formula Racing season was one of the most exciting ever. Going to the very last race, the championship title was still up in the air as the duel between Michael Schumacher and Kimi Raikkonen. Now Schumacher took the checkered flag to secure the win for a Ferrari team by a mere two points. This kit features a realistic underbody, diffusers, and front and rear spoilers along with a highly detailed cockpit and authentic Bridgestone branded tires and rims. Also included are decals for both drivers of the Magna Coors French race and multi-language instructions. Now when you're done, the model's dimensions are uh, 7 and 3 quarter inches long, 3 inches wide, and 2 inches high. Here's the layout of the kit, and as you can see, the decals are very colorful and the register is excellent. Now, I did the Schumacher version, but you can choose either one. I also find it uh, expedient to go ahead and label the parts as they are laid out on the sprues with the corresponding colors that are uh, supplied by the color callouts in the instructions. Here are the color callouts supplied by Ravel of Germany, and uh, you'll notice at the bottom too, I used uh, the Tamiya XF52 flat earth base, and then I dry brushed over that with some brown X9. Instruction starts with the motor, and for the most part, I'll be using liquid cement or super glue for the construction on this kit. The glue has to be thin because the parts fit together very closely. These parts were all painted flat aluminum and then allowed to dry thoroughly. The engine is fairly simple construction as most of it isn't seen when it's enclosed in the uh, body. But you'll also notice there's a red stripe there on the uh, side of the heads and I just left that unpainted. I also blacked out the exhaust pipes and the forward portion there of the upright piece I, um, I've wrapped that in some gold foil. We'll set the engine aside to dry and then move on to the rear suspension. As you can see, I'll be showing some of the directions here so that the uh, explanation of construction sequences is very clear. In some cases, it's expedient to just paint the pieces by hand with a brush while they're on the sprues and then touch them up later. In other cases, for larger pieces, you can spray them on the sprues and do the same thing. Or if some parts need to be really finished nicely like body parts, you can just remove them and paint them separately with spray. We'll start with the axle, the uh, calipers, and some of the uh, locating brackets that uh, go on that. And also notice the, the, the center, the axle there, is kind of a copper color. Uh, it doesn't show well sometimes in the lighting, but uh, it's called out in the color callouts. Now we can add the uh, upper half here to trap the axle in place. And we're going to add one of the sway bars there uh, to... Um, uh, finish up this sub-assembly. Remember to uh, scrape any paint or uh, chrome product, uh, you know, so that you get a good bond when you put the parts together. And after these are joined, you can touch up the seams there where the, where you see some red with, uh, with the black paint. Now we'll add the, um, the vertical uprights and assemble the uh, rear wing. Now those pieces are all fit together at the same time to the lower air, uh, foil there. So you have to scrape all the glue and then uh, use some uh, slow setting glue to put these into place. Make sure you remove any paint. Uh, I had to open up the uh, receiving slots for that upper wing a little bit to uh, overcome that. And then we're going to add a bevy of, um, of decals. Now uh, this is just the start. Uh, this uh, vehicle and model is just laden with excellent decals and you'll be placing those into position uh, all along the way. So um, always have those available uh, at the appropriate time because it's easier to decal them before the entire assembly is done. 
We'll begin uh, construction now on the forward downforce airfoil. And uh, just like before, the, these all have to be assembled, uh, both sides and the foils and pieces together at the same time. Uh, use some liquid cement here. Make sure you scrape the glue. And once again, open up those um, uh, receiving slots a little bit so that the uh, parts will fit together properly. And as before, now we'll start adding more decals um, to this subassembly. You see the shell decals here and the white piece uh, in the middle. Um, they all go on fairly well, but you may want to consider some setting solutions for some of the larger ones to make sure that they conform to the body's contours. Almost like an aircraft, the cockpit is a, um, a small model in itself. And uh, this one has molded in seat belts, however. So um, the best that we can do there to detail those is to uh, add a little chrome foil to the buckles and then uh, you can add some shading to the belts themselves. And once again there will be uh, a, a host of decals to add to this uh, sub-assembly. And I found it um, necessary to mask uh, or to uh, add the uh, sidewall decals first just to make sure that they set into place. They've got some unusual shapes and add some uh, some setting solution to make sure they settled in and they did nicely these are good decals and then uh, I went out on the uh, on the net found a uh, photo of the uh, of the steering wheel at least one one of the race versions uh, for this vehicle and the colorations for the buttons now the uh, the one in the kit is not identical to this uh, but it's a good representation so I tried to kind of generally um, give it the uh, appearance of that particular uh, photo uh, of the real thing. At this point the model will start coming together a little bit uh, and as you can see here we're, we're asked to uh, add the engine and foil to the um, the lower deck, the uh, bottom plane, and we have to finish that first. So I um, added some flat earth to it and uh, some brown dry brushing, and and then I um, taped that off after it was dry, and sprayed it uh, flat black. Now there's a couple of dimples in the um, pressing here, so that uh, if you want to, you can fill those in for contest models. Then we're going to go ahead and scratch a little paint off where the uh, uh, engine uh, goes into place and add that and the uh, rear section to the, the back end of the model and uh, so it's uh, starting to look like this thing is coming together and as you can see the different uh, contours and surfaces have shading and uh, some of the decaling on them to make them appear more like the real thing but uh, she's starting to look pretty good We'll start working on the body next. Uh, you can see some of the major pieces here that will be painted the uh, Ferrari red color. And as in all cases, there's going to be a little uh, parting line there. You see at the deck and there's some in the front of the nose here. You'll see uh, pieces uh, um, that need to be, you know, kind of cleaned up. So scrape those off, sand them smooth, and then uh, once uh, you see the arrows here uh, indicating more uh, parting lines, once that's done and you've got her smoothed out, a nice coat of light primer and uh, then a few coats of that uh, Ferrari red will give you a nice uh, contoured body for your vehicle. And uh, it's going to look really nice when we get her finished, so um, clean that up and get her ready. Construction now begins to uh, take place on the body shell, the upper shell. Uh, and that includes the windshield frame, which uh, is a little thick, but um, also the um, the snorkel and the interior tub will go here next. And I painted the in, uh, interior of the um, uh, intake there black, and then I added a little um, putty to uh, make sure that it didn't get paint painted, and then uh, kind of pressed that into position. So we'll add the exhaust fairings in the back end there there's one on each side and everything fits very nicely there's good positive location points just make sure that you uh, have clean uh, paint free surfaces to glue and you can see the tab here that uh, uh, is located and uh, puts uh, places the glue point for that now we're going to move along here and continue with the uh, uh, the windshield and the white arrow here indicates the tabs that you can glue to the underside uh, of the upper body half uh, to put that into position and then uh, once all that is in place we can add the cockpit uh, and that uh, is uh, the same thing you're going to 
uh, scrape paint from the tabs you see there on the sides and in the front. And then we're going to turn the uh, vehicle uh, over here and then glue that into position and make sure that's in. Uh, it's a good, a nice good fit, so you shouldn't have any problems with that, and uh, I would um, not expect any. And so now we will again uh, interrupt uh, construction with the uh, application of decals. Uh, the large white ones there behind the snorkel are, are the most difficult. Um, they, they go together nicely, but uh, you're going to need to use some setting solution. And you might need to even touch up a little uh, stripe there down the middle in the back uh, with a little white paint. Uh, and then uh, those decals. Uh, need to settle in and dry before you handle the model for uh, continued construction. Add the upper suspension bracket here. You see this um, flat piece that uh, it goes into the slot there and then attaches uh, directly to the sides. Uh, there's some small uh, pins that go into receiving holes there. I use some super glue for this. Uh, it should be nice and strong and it locates right into position. Then we're going to add the carbon fiber decals to it uh, for a nice um, uh, carbon fiber look. Next, uh, grab piece 28 there, um, and of course that's the black color. We're going to add that to the uh, lower piece, um, and uh, that's your uh, suspension brace there for uh, that section. So we'll glue that into place with some good strong glue. We'll add the control arms here and the um, calipers to the front suspension. And of course, uh, there's a bevy again of uh, decals. Here's some carbon fiber to uh, add to the uh, control arms. And then after you cut them out and lay them on, uh, this is one of those areas where you're, you're going to need some of the uh, setting solution to get those to curl around the edges to give it a nice appearance on those control arms. And um, here you see all of the parts staged and ready to go there. Uh, but there's more decals to come. So uh, we're going to glue those into position and then uh, let that set and dry well. Uh, and I would again use some uh, super glue there. Now we'll add the downforce uh, airfoil and the front suspension piece, uh, the lower nose piece here you see separate on the right. And just scrape the glue off the edges and locating tabs and glue that into position with some super glue. Uh, and then uh, here, of course, is your, your upper section. Uh, and so we're going to put those halves together and then glue. Uh, or add some more decals uh, once again to this front end and then we're going to add the um, the foil there in front and definitely want to use some super glue as there's only two uh, smaller tab openings uh, for those um, to be uh, glued to the body so make sure you get a good strong joint there. Some of the body colored side skirts and uh, the radiators will be added next on each side of the uh, lower platform. And so go ahead and get those pieces staged up. And notice uh, the, the radiators were painted um, you know, aluminum, but the centers have been uh, used a, a little black wash on to give that a little a more of um, a definition. So that's just 50-50 mix of uh, paint and thinner. And you can add that to make the radiator stand out a little better. So glue those into position on each side of the vehicle and then uh, let those uh, dry thoroughly because they're supporting pieces for some of the rest of the body. We're making real progress now and it's time to fit the upper body to the lower section. And it's also um, a time to do some dry fitting. Make sure that everything lines up and fits well and that you've got um, the paint removed from any of the gluing contact points that you're going to use to uh, put the uh, body into place on the platform. Uh, and then uh, once you get that into position, um, you can use liquid cement or even tube cement for that, but uh, a good strong cement like a liquid or a uh, medium setting CA is probably a good choice there to make sure you get a good bond and keep those body pieces uh, together without revealing any gaps. While that uh, body assembly is drying, it's time to take a look at the uh, tire and wheel assemblies. I gave them a coat of a flat aluminum and then uh, touched up the air valves with um, a, a flat black ink pen. And I sprayed them with uh, then a, uh, after putting the tires in place, uh, a coat of floor polish to allow the decals to have a nice clean surface to prevent silvering. As you can see, that worked out very well here. Uh, so now, again, more decals 
and uh, these tires are a piece of art all by themselves and once you're done uh, I um, sprayed them flat uh, with flat clear and then uh, roughed up the tread area to give it a little road worn surface look. Now we'll add the, uh, the forward diffusers and uh, they're two tone paint so uh, they're white on the outside and black on the inside. They fit well and they will require some decals. Um, now the edges there you'll need to touch those up uh, in in this case basically just scrape off any of the dark paint from the outside there and then uh, the white of course was underneath so that cleans them up very nicely so put those into position they glue in well nice locating points and then we're going to add a lot of decals to this model um, now that it's basically constructed Aside from the large white panel decals on the kit, uh, the most difficult one and delicate one is the uh, the cue that's right there on the side of the outside of the fender flaring. Um, it's got uh, slits in it um, for uh, fitting into those louvers around the body, so you can actually um, see the uh, red through there. Now, I, I guess I don't really know if that should be uh, painted or not. I didn't leave them. Uh, I left them just as they were. Uh, it's up to you experts to figure out uh, whether those need to be a solid color. All right, now we're going to wind up construction with these accessory and extra pieces, the diffuser and uh, this camera. I think this is a camera module and it gets some more decals. So uh, use the appropriate decals for that. And then we're going to stage all the pieces, the antenna, uh, which are somewhat uh, large for the scale, but uh, they still make a nice representation. And the diffusers there and the camera and the mirrors. And we're going to put those into place on the model and then uh, once that is done, let her sit and dry. Well, there you have it. This great looking uh, kit of the uh, 2003 Ferrari in 124 scale is a nice addition to my shelf. Uh, it's a, a real head turner with all the decaling and features that are on it. Uh, it really looks fast too. So uh, I don't think you'll have too much trouble with the kit. Everything goes together very well. There's minimal flash and parting lines on it. A couple of small sinks if you want to fix those, but by and large it fits together well uh, with some careful painting and application of decals. Uh, it is stunning uh, and uh, at a pretty attractive price point compared to the competition. So if I were you, I'd buy one and put it on my shelf. Well, we hope you like this step-by-step -step scale model kit review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking on the icon in the lower right hand of any of our reviews.